A small town murder in far eastern Kentucky is getting a lot of attention from across the state. You guys have been asking me to look into the Amber Spradlin case and today I'm ready to share what I've learned. According to state police, the 39 year old was found dead in a home on Arkansas Creek earlier this month. That's about four and a half hours from Louisville in Floyd County, Kentucky. Kentucky State Police troopers confirmed she had life threatening injuries and they do suspect foul play, meaning they're working it as a homicide investigation. Well, today the victim's family is asking for support as they go on 10 days without an arrest in the case and without answers as to why it took so long for the 911 call to be heard. June 18th, family say Amber Spradlin was with friends and her boss, people she trusted. Only hours later, she was discovered dead, her family describing the brutal attack on the steps of the courthouse in Floyd County. She was stabbed not once, not twice, not three times. She was stabbed at least 11 times in her head, her neck, and her throat. Kentucky State Police is working the case but staying tight-lipped. The family's attorney believes they have their suspect, but because the crime scene was so gruesome, DNA evidence has been difficult to separate in the lab. There was blood everywhere, and there was blood that was mixed with other blood and other DNA. Families say Amber lost her parents when she was young. She was raised by her grandparents and in turn cared for them until the end, only recently moving out to start a life on her own. They don't know why anyone would want to hurt her. They also don't know why it took first responders so long to find her and help. I just don't know what in the world would have gone so wrong to result in what happened. But there was a 911 call and no one went. The community has been calling the county's 911 dispatch system into question since Amber's death. The attorney says it took first responders hours to find Amber. Oh, but she's all forgotten. No cover up. The mayor of Prestonsburg addressed the issue at a town meeting earlier this week, saying the town has its own 911 call center, funded by and focused on the town. Because this call came from the county, it was sent to the KSP dispatch center, and according to the attorney, lost between the lines. Can you imagine being Amber Spradlin in that house that night, realizing that no one was going to be coming? She didn't know that, but nobody came. Now, as they wait for word on the killer, family is also hoping to get answers on the 911 system. Friends, family, community, that meant everything to Amber. Hoping no one else has to suffer alone. The attorneys in this case are calling on Governor Randy Bashir to examine the 911 system and make adjustments to make sure citizens are safe. As for the death investigation, Kentucky State Police say detectives are actively following new leads.